For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Next 26 November, we will complete the one year of the struggle. Probably this is the longest democratic movement in the world. After this long one year, to break the movement, the government has not left no stone unturned. When they fail to defeat the movement, to divide the movement, to blame the movement, to undermine the movement, then they started attacking, physical attack. One farmer's killed in Haryana, two farmers are killed in Darang in Assam, and four farmers are killed in Uttar Pradesh, Lakimpur. This way they are attacking, physical attack. But farmers said, by killing, how many will kill? We are 90 crores. By annihilating, farmers' movement cannot be stopped. This determination created an historic struggle democratic movement in the country. And this democratic movement is unique in the country, largest democratic movement in India and in the world, most peaceful movement in this world, such a big movement, peaceful, and most united movement. 500 organizations we came together. This last one year, this struggle has been certainly a farmer's struggle but it has been supported by all sections of the people of India for the last one year. And today, the Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, has been forced to announce the repeal of the three anti-farmer, anti-people and pro-corporate laws that he had brought into Parliament by murdering democracy in September 2020. Uh, we have a situation where had the Prime Minister declared this one year ago, more than 700 lives would have been saved in this country. They are responsible for the death of 700 farmer martyrs, including the five who have been murdered by the Union Minister of State for Home and his son and other BJP goons in Lakhimpur Khiri. So therefore, now, along with this, the MSP Act is a very, very big necessity. In the last 25 years of these neoliberal policies, pro-corporate policies, 4 lakh farmers have been forced to commit suicide in India. Out of these, nearly 1 lakh farmers have committed suicide in India only in the last 7 years of the BJP Modi government. So this is the reason, because this entire act for three farm laws were totally meant to help the corporate sector. They were against the people, they were against the farmers. These three laws had the actual uh, intention of completely ending the MSP uh, regime, stopping government procurement, ending the entire public distribution system in India of which 81 crore people are the beneficiaries. That is what they wanted to achieve. Why? Only for the benefit of the Ambani's and the Adani's and the other corporate uh, interests. It is a very big victory that the farmers, the workers, agricultural workers, students, youth and women have triumphed over this conspiracy of the Modi government along with the crony corporates. The farmers and the workers of our country are going to remain on the streets. They are going to remain vigilant. 
and it is not just the question of these acts alone for uh, the fight for struggle for alternative policies that is going to continue we are also going to remember each of the thing, uh, uh, attacks that we have had to face in the last one year we have seen how trenches were dug up on the national highways to stop the farmers yeah, lati charge quick. and uh, um, uh, uh, tear gas water cannons we have seen how nails were laid to stop the farmers internet and electricity and water supply being cut everything will be remembered sab yaad rakha jayega we are going to ensure that this is going to uh, uh, this uh, decision today is also go, uh, a big defeat which they have suffered and as we earlier mentioned when these nails were laid on the uh, roads that this is going to be the last nails in the coffin of this bjp government it is a big victory today because it's a victory for democracy in our country it is a victory for all those who are fighting for protection of the constitution of our country and the rights of the toiling masses of our country